First at six, protesters not giving up the fight against the proposed Atlanta Public, Tra uh, Public Safety Training Center that's being built in DeKalb County. This group of about 50 people showed up today near the campus of Georgia State University. Meanwhile, the city and county have said they are ready to move forward with construction. But new tonight, 11 Alive's Bo Beth Yates learned one county leader may be holding up the deal. It's important that we follow the law. It's important that we follow the Clean Water Act. DeKalb um, County Commissioner Ted Terry is talking about the land use permit approved by the county's planning department to build the new Atlanta Public Safety Training Center. Terry says he wants to read the permit and the fine print. Um, right now I'm investigating and reviewing those plans to, to see if um, if there are the possibility of appeal because the concern is ultimately the long term impact of the South River uh, watershed. Entrenchment Creek is one of the most endangered creeks um, in the entire state of Georgia. But earlier this week during a press conference, DeKalb County CEO Michael Thurman defended the decision to approve the permit and added environmental protection was a priority during the process. We will protect the South River Forest Basin, which is a unique a unique natural resource. There's nothing else like it inside of 285. Thurman's office and city of Atlanta officials say part of those protections include only building on the section of the property that was previously developed, as well as planting a tree for every tree cut down. Officials add the site plan also included studies on drainage, stormwater management, and even erosion and pollution. But Friday, college students around Metro Atlanta took to the streets to voice their opposition. It's not a good idea for Atlanta in itself because that is an environmental hazard just in itself, but also it is increases the militarization of the Atlanta police. And as many continue to voice their concerns, Terry says he needs more assurance about this project. Those additional measures that were alluded to in the press conference, uh, we'd like to see them, analyze them, and weigh them with what the Clean Water Act and the other state regulations require. 